Our coverage continues here in Atlanta with our own Deuce McAllister joins us. Uh, what a huge win for this football team. Let's get to the running backs first. Though. Alvin Kamara has always said he welcomes another a new kind of workload. Well, he got it today. He got it today. 34 overall touches, and, you know, uh, it's a concern. It has to be just because you want him to last for 16 games, and he's so dynamic as a player. But when they needed to play and they needed to go to him, Drew was able to find him. And so, you know, you're excited. I told him, hey, look, man, go tell Sean you need a vet's day off. You need Monday off and Wednesday off. And so just to be able to recover because you want him to last for 16 games for you. How do you think they're going to handle next week? Because Ingram comes back, obviously, after the next game. Can you have back-to-back -back games like this? Well, I don't know if you can have back-to-back -back games like this. You know, I wouldn't be surprised if they made a little movement at that position. But, you know, uh, for me, do whatever you have to do to get a W. You know, so if you have to feed him, you have to be careful with him, get him in space. But whatever you have to do to get a W, do it. I love getting everybody's reaction, and I can't wait to hear yours. As a former running back who takes pride in your spin moves or any kind of moves, your, your old quarterback, Drew Brees, the spin move to force overtime, how would you rate that? Uh, I give it about a six. You know, his average, he could tell already that he couldn't outflank him. He was outflanked by one of the defenders. So you could see him slowing down already. And it's just, I mean, that's Atari. That's a slow spin move. He spins out of it. But it was effective. And he had enough room where he could run. So he did, he did the right thing. Six. Tough, tough judge right here. The, the football team as a whole, though, they overcame a lot to not only force overtime, but to get this victory. What does it do for this team moving forward now? Well, I think, you know, a couple things when you talk about what it does from a confidence standpoint, because they did not play their best ball. You know, too many balls over the top, too many explosive plays. Thought they did a really good job of stopping the run. And going into the fourth quarter, they didn't have over 100 yards rushing. They were able to get there. Uh, I mean, so there's a lot of good things that they did, but there are a lot that they can, can clean up too. We saw a lot of Michael Thomas, a lot of Alvin Kamara in the first two games, more of Kamara in this game, but more of a team effort. You know, Zach Lyon gets in the end zone. Cameron Meredith yeah, plays for the sure. first time, gets in the end zone. I mean, that has to help this offense. Yeah, and I thought Ben Watson was yes. important for him as well, Catch, make some catches over the, you know, uh, over the top. And then, you know, Ted Ginn had a good game. He was able to score and helped him on the run game. But if he catches two more passes, his numbers go up out, out of the roof. So things to clean up, but, you know, you can see. Also the penalties. You know, they hurt themselves in the uh, – in the red zone with penalties, false starts, as well as a holding call. And finally, it's only week three, Deuce, but you don't want to go 0-2 in the NFC South. I mean, this was an important, important victory. Yeah, me and Bobby have been fussing about must win, and so we won it, whether it was a must win or not. Six on a scale of 10 for Drew Brees. This guy is a tough, tough teacher. Deuce McAllister here in Atlanta. Back to you guys.